So, I've just arrived at the car park for a walk down to Point of Sleep. Point, Point of Sleep is actually um, just a modern lighthouse. I'm not going to go that far. The reason I've come is uh, for the beach. There's a lovely secluded beach here. So I thought I'd have a look around that and uh, explore it. And the uh, weather's turned out quite nice. We're getting the occasional little shower come over. Other than that, it's been great. I think this actually might be a really good day. Come over a couple of hills and this seems to be all downhill from here. I can see the coast. So hopefully it won't be too long before I get there. But you know, it's been a great walk, so I can't really complain. So uh, let's see what's around the corner. wonderful place a fantastic find and uh, it's been a, a really nice drive here as well uh, the, the single track road which comes all the way down here is fantastic it's some really nice sea views and it's been great today because we had a nice clear nice clear sort of views anyway the walk's quite nice not too arduous a little bit up and down um, a little bit boggy in places you need your boots but other than that, fantastic. And there were a few people here when I originally came, but they soon disappeared. And this place is all mine now. There's no one else here. So I spoke to a couple on the way down. They said if I, it forks off to the left of this beach, if I carried on to the right, there's a lovely harbour. So I'm going to carry on exploring this for a little bit and uh, obviously take some pictures. I haven't really taken any pictures yet. Getting a little bit of drizzle now. Um, but I've got a funny feeling that's not going to last very long. Doesn't even bother me that much. Uh, anyway, so once I've taken some pictures, I think I'll go down to the harbour, shoot some video, and um, hopefully get some nice pictures there as well. Hopefully, this weather stay, you know, fairly good. And this will be a cracking day out. So, um, anyway, I'll catch you later. <laughs> So this walk just keeps on getting better and better. Uh, I've just come to a little secluded harbour now. I'm going to read out the name and I'm going to crucify it. Akased and Reba. Uh, of course, I'm going to put that name up on the screen because that's obviously nothing like um, it's probably supposed to be. It's fantastic. It's really hot now. Uh, I have to strip off. And the conditions are great. The clouds are great. And this place here, I'll, I'll show you some footage from here in a while. In a while. It is brilliant. I, I'm 
just so glad I did this today because it was one of these things I didn't know whether I'd enjoy or not. But it's, um, I think it's so far it's the highlight, highlight of this trip. So uh, long may it continue. I could do some decent images, that'd be great. But um, if not, again, it's experience, it's a fantastic experience. Anyway, let's see what else we can find. I'll turn the camera around and um, show you where I am. I've gone beyond the harbour now and I'm sort of making my way over to the cliffs where basically those two cairns are. It's quite an amazing landscape around here actually. I'm really surprised and again it's uh, really interesting. So yeah, I'm totally enjoying this. So this has been a really good trip. It's really sunny now, a bit too sunny, but uh, probably going to end up a really nice sunset of sorts. We'll, we'll see. But unfortunately, I've got to make my way back. It's probably, I don't know, maybe an hour or so before I get back to the car from here. I've lost all track of the time, so I've really no idea. But um, I've got to get to my next location ready for tomorrow as well. So um, unfortunately, I have to leave, which is a shame because I've really enjoyed it here. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it here. If there are opportunities to take some sunset shots on the way back, I will stop and do so, and I will put them up on the end of the, um, the video here. So until next time then, I'll see you. Bye. Bye.